We started with a witch, now we're ending with one. <laughs> well, that was cheesy. Anyway, hello, beauts! Loki Gore here. Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to 13 Days of Spooks. It's the last episode. Ah! last episode of the series. I'm really sad that it's ending because I really enjoyed doing this series. I literally, after, just like just before this video started, um, I filmed and edited Billy Butcherson. So um, it's been very like kind of last minute down to the wire, which is we love. I love that. Just adding that to my stress. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Let me know if we do any more series or any ideas that you want to see on this channel. I will try my best to kind of not just ghost now after the series is done. I will take a little bit of a break. My skin needs a break. I will be posting some bloopers and extended bits and pieces from the series, like a little montage of some sort. As I said, we started with a witch, we're gonna end with one. Um, obviously my first witch being the kind of voodoo high priestess reboot style that I did, second witch being Bellatrix the Strange, which was like a character piece, and now, if I do this right, it's gonna be the scariest. I was challenged with the idea of my take on the Blair Witch. Now, obviously, we don't know really know what she looks like. I, mean, I know a lot of people have been doing their own adaptations of it. But my friend Ben is one of his favourite films of all time. He wanted me to do Blair Witch. And I was like, boo, I got you. I got you, boo. So... <laughs> So that's our third witch. The trio of witches is complete. Yeah, that's gonna be the video. So special shout out for this entire series of Obsidian Effects on Etsy. They've been awesome. They make handmade prosthetics that are really good quality and I've been using them throughout the series, as you can probably tell. Special thanks to Kirsty Howe. I made her into Billy from Saw. Massive thanks for working with me. It was a lot of fun to work with you. And another shout out goes to my friend Fee, Fee Lynn on YouTube. Um, she created the Jack and Sally Tim Burton style piece of music that's been at the start of my videos currently playing right now um, for another project she kind of showed me it and I asked if I could use it for my videos and she said yes so love y'all thank you so much so you can follow all of those guys down below there's all the details of where you can find them and things like that but yeah my series wouldn't be what it was if it wasn't for you guys so thank you so much and also thank you to everyone who's watched it and supported and commented on Instagram and TikTok and all that malarkey I've been really enjoying it so thank you so much anyway speaking of get stuff from <laughs> Speaking of, plug, Obsidian Effects, go buy their stuff from Etsy.com. These are the prosthetics I'm going to be using today. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to start with prosthetics and then you're going to need liquid latex, a pot, your spatula, just the standard stuff that we use for SFX makeup. With the prosthetics, they've got this barrier here. And basically what you'll need, you, you'll need to use, very sparingly, and please go careful, it's um, basically 99.9% .9 alcohol. It basically dissolves the liquid latex to kind of use a very tiny amount just to melt off the edges so it blends in your skin better. Slight addition to what we're using. Let's go! Ooh, I'm gonna let that dry and then I think I'm gonna start on the eye makeup first. Of course we're using it. I've used this in my entire series so far, so we're gonna use it. So that's the base of my eyes done. I'm gonna go in with the Revolutions SFX White Base. I'm using white powder from Marin to set it. I'm gonna set the eyes with some setting spray for now, just so they don't smudge or anything. I'm gonna use some of the white powder I use on my eyes just to set some of the latex. Again, using NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, just to kind of start with a bit of a base, using banana powder to set my foundation. So I've got the like, really used Merin uh, makeup palette. <laughs> I'm going to use some of the brown on just to kind of add a bit of more kind of like detailing and stuff. So I'm going to go probably paint in really dark on the slits here and then kind of look make it look like wood if that makes sense that's what that's my plan whether it's going to look good who knows also i'll go in with my sfx palette as well just to kind of add to it So this the first half I'm done. Don't know how to feel about it yet. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna stipple on some scab blood and things like that, and I'm gonna fix the eyes. So, last montage of 13 Days of Spooks. Okay. So, um, this is the scariest one I've done, for me personally, I just, I watched the first bit of the footage back for the montage and I went, ooh, ooh, she creepy. <laughs> so this is my take on the Blair Witch, um, I fully committed, <laughs> I'm not naked, I swear I got a top on. Yeah, I think this is the scariest witch I've done, if not the scariest look I've done. It's just creepy, it's just eerie, it's creepy, I wanted that vibe, this is the look I was going for, I wanted her to look like she ends up blending into her environment. Happy Halloween! This was 13 Days of Spooks, I really really hope you enjoyed the series, if you haven't already please like and subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world, hit the notification bell even though it might not work, and yeah, happy Halloween guys! And whatever your plans are, whether you're staying in or going out, please be safe, take care, whilst having fun and put a coat on it's gonna be cold <laughs> and yeah see you guys soon love it stay safe bye Halloween.